Thank you. That one was called Angry Woman. It's from our album called Honey Wine. Uh, you can find that anywhere of the usual places on the internet. And the next one is a Rwandan song called Inganji.
Thank you. That one was called Inganji. And um, we mostly communicate through so uh, with Sophie through music. But from what I understand about the words, it's about twins, like twin brother and sister. Um, and the next song we're going to do is kind of my adaptation of a famous Yiddish song called Der Rebbe Eli Melech. And it has words in Yiddish about the... Um, the rabbi, a famous rabbi from Lezhinsk. Is there anyone here in Lezhinsk or here from Lezhinsk? I don't know. I've been there before because I'm descended from this rabbi and I visited his grave before. Um, but I wrote my own English lyrics for it. Uh, and so that's what this is going to be. It's the melody of Der Rebbe Eli Melech with some English lyrics. with whom he wanted so much more and he wanted to tell her how he felt but did not know what to say what to do he had no clue so he got her a gift to give his image a little lift It was a bird that sang true songs about the world 
And the effect was very strong When she heard that bird's true song And things got better for Ellie Melech And soon came the time For this moment so sublime Let us pray he'll please her each and every way Things are gonna get hot And he'll make Lijanks proud When Ali Melech gives it all that he's got And their bodies connected But that bird he objected He clucked and caught and beat his wings in rage There were feathers flying around And no peace to be found And the rabbi couldn't focus on his Torah And she strongly objected When he quietly suggested Could you please get this wild beast To leave the room? But she kept that darn bird She kept his true songs about the world And the rabbi Elimelech left Thank you. That was the Rabbi Eli Melech. And the next song we're going to do is called Dry Season.
Thank you. Our next song is another Rwandan song. This one is called Nyangezi, and it's a story about a man named Nyangezi. Yeah, 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 yeah
Could I have a little more saxophone in the monitor? Thank you. Um, 
The next song we're going to do is kind of a jazz classic by Alice Coltrane. Uh, that is the wife of John Coltrane. And it's called Pta or Ta, depending how you pronounce it, but Pta the El Daoud.
Thank you. Again, that was Ptah the El Daoud, a jazz classic by Alice Coltrane. The next song we're going to play is called Morambi Blues. This is a song I wrote after visiting the Morambi Technical School in Rwanda. Briefly, the Morambi Technical School is never opened as a school. It was a construction site that was supposed to become a school. And then during the Rwandan genocide in 1994, it filled with uh, refugees who uh, were all killed there, thousands of them. And now it's a memorial site, which I visited. And um, a lot of the imagery there, there were uh, piles of clothes and things like this, reminded me a lot of the way we memorialize the Holocaust with piles of shoes and things like that. And I think you'll hear some of the klezmer flavor in parts of this one.
Thank you. <clears throat> We're going to play another Rwandan song now. This one is called Inyambo, and it's about cows. Cows are a very treasured asset in Rwanda, not only for food, but mostly for their leather, I believe, for making clothes. So this is Inyambo.
Thank you. Again, that was Inyambo. And this next one is one I wrote. We're going to play two more. So this is our penultimate song for tonight. And this one is called Love Triangle. It's about a love triangle between a bird, a cat, and a woman. Bird found a window in the woods Sees a warm fireplace and the cooking smells good He slows his wings to get a closer look There's a woman looking back at him Her kind warm body is so inviting He's never seen anything this exciting He crashes into that window He tumbles down into the snow Her hips sway gently when she walks by the window She seems like a woman that he needs to get to know He ruffles his feathers and looks to the sky He's gonna give that window one more try Again the bird bounced off that window He's shivering and stunned in the snow but he's a bird of great determination To the world he'll become a huge inspiration
Much to his fright, a cat appeared and pummeled him left and right. But he'll fight that cat and he'll do it with style for that woman he can go this extra mile. He jumps on the cat's head and pecks at his eyes. The cat growling mean swipes him off with his paws. The cat's big and tough, but the bird's got drive. He's gonna fight hard and he hopes to survive. The cat marches into the house with the bird, clenched real tight in his jaws. He lays the body at the woman's feet. She screams real loud and he proudly says meow. Thank you. And now for our last tune, we are going to play one called Mutobo March. So I already spoke about visiting Rwanda and visiting the Marambi Technical School. But another place I visited was the Mutobo Rehabilitation Center. And there I played for people, ex-terrorists basically, former terrorists who were found in the Congolese jungle and now we're being in an intermediate state before uh, rejoining society. And so if Marambi, uh, the Marambi blues is kind of a sad one, Mutobo is more about hope for the future that uh, everyone can get along.
Thank you. Thank you very much. Again, Sophie and Zaya Sanga. And William Parker. Tim Kuyper. I'm Jeremy Daneman. Thank you very, very much. You've been a great audience. Have a wonderful evening and enjoy the rest of the festival. Thank you.